Uh, look, is we Jordan or LeBron? LeBron? Or is we both? Is we both? Mm-hmm. Either way, we gon' toast to them rings, toast to them rings. Yeah, we gon' toast to them rings, toast to them rings. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, we gon' toast to the ring, toast to the ring. Yeah. Man, let's start beatboxing at the man, beginning. Let's start of the doing it. Hey, you know, Adrian's a beatboxer, yo. Bro, you know how to beatbox, bro? Would you beatbox I know how coming to do up, like bro? A little bit, bro, bro, I used to be like. <laughs> Oh, we recording, bro. It's your boy Black Freckles. It's your boy Rebel, and this is indeed maybe the, the raw, raw hype. hype. We don't know what we're gonna do with this because we just recorded raw hype. It might be I don't know. <laughs> oh, you like the damn <laughs> <old> police academy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have been watching those lately. Oh, here we go. Hey, well, this is how we're gonna start this today, I guess. Really ripey. Uh, <laughs> I thought to myself that <laughs> that's Beverly Hills. <laughs> Anyway, that, was, that was talent right there, my good Boy, man. You said you were gonna start this off talking about what? police the fucking academy, right? Uh, lately, I've been on this Fuck kick. Police uh, academy, I know, right? Not Let- the movie, the actual police academy. Go both. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, I know <laughs> what you're gonna say. Both. You've been rewatching movies that you saw as a kid yes. through your adult eyes. So far, according to posts I've seen on the internet. It's not going nah, well, going man. <laughs> I saw uh, the pest with John Leguizamo. I ain't gonna never make ago. you uh, make like, me not Jesus. like that movie. No, it was not good. Oh, yes, it is. No, go on though. What you been watching? Uh, I'm ridiculous. And like I don't know, I stick to this. Ooh, nah. get away from this. I'm stinky, stinky. Oh, oh. What I about that, watch- y'all? Like, <laughs> what about? That? Don't ever watch the pest with hey, John Leguizamo. You have to have the nostalgia, and that's what I realized with some of these movies. You have to equate you have, the, the nostalgia has to come with the film. If I try to watch it and say, "All right, let me see if I enjoy this movie," You're right? No. Yeah, because I told my daughter I was gonna force her to watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air one time, mm. but I was like, "I'm gonna force you to watch it like as a history lesson, I was say, more than an entertainment TV show." Mm. I said, "But at least you know who the fuck Will Smith is, so it got a shot." You know? Yeah, he got a shot. It's almost hey, look at his beginnings. Like, I wouldn't make her watch like Family Matters. Like she not gonna, th- <laughs> <laughs> she not gonna think that shit funny. Hey, what am I supposed to be learning here? <laughs> what am I supposed to be learning here, Father? Huh? <laughs> that black cops exist too. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Carl Winslow was a cop, man. I know. I was just about to say, but that is only a lesson for like the early nineties, late eighties. Like, like black people can be cops. Carl Winslow should have like, shot a black dad. person on that show. Like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he should have, bro. Hey, it needed to be covered, damn it. Clip, I want to talk about movies for this first segment, all right? Mm-hmm. Oh, how was Beverly Hills Cop or Cop and a Half or Cop, Cop, <laughs> Cops? Whatever the show you watch. What did you watch? Uh, Police Academy. Oh, yeah. How was it? You didn't come no, up with it. No, when you just said uh, kill somebody, it made me think of another show that I told you about, which was The Undoing. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we will be talking about uh, old movies like Police Academy and new movies like shows like The Undoing. The whole episode? I'm not gonna talk about the whole episode. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna just give I'm me my second. Say, I got some shows I can talk about. <laughs> Pull it. Oh no no. We'll, we'll see where it goes. All right, go. <laughs> the TV episode. <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 dun. Boom boom. Hey, dun, 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 hey it's all uh, uh, SVU. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, confession. I've literally never watched a full episode of any Law and Order show ever. Oh man, Shorty, I used to talk to, used to watch him. That is the worst show. <laughs> that shit be so boring. That be be like, bum, tum, bum. that shit be boring. What boy. I learned about it, be committing the weirdest crime. No, the twist is always is not who they say that it is. No, that shit first. like Scooby Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for Ice T and that white woman. <laughs> I think Ice T is on that show. Yes. Oh. And the white woman. Oh, I know the white it woman. I can picture her by head, but yeah, go on. Uh. <laughs> anyway, man. So, long story short, right? And, oh, here's the thing, too. Even though these movies are terrible, mm-hmm. I'm not not finishing them. Oh, man. That's an OCD of mine I have. Like, if I'm making an episode four of a season, mm. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm going to finish the season. I've been on, like, episode four of a season, knew I was going to finish the season, and knew I was never going to watch this <laughs> show again. <laughs> season two, just wait like a moment. Like I'm like, job. I'm never going to watch Oh, no, no, no. My commitment is to season one. Mm-hmm. Season two, you can go fuck yourself. Yeah, you need to pull off a miracle in these last two episodes. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Anyway, Police Academy. You started. I was watching them shits, right? I'm talking about. It is very bad, yo. I could imagine. I was man. on the episode ep- movie number three, and I said, "I was like, I haven't cracked a smile yet. Like, not even something that." would be remotely funny or entertaining. And that was the next thing. Being a nigga who edits videos and all of that, their edits and cuts were disgusting, my nigga. For real? Like, they would be having one scene, and they won't even finish the joke, and they clip to another scene. I was like, what the fuck is this? Not cool. Like, I'd be mad if I seen that on YouTube. Today? Yeah. These niggas have a, a history of being... Quote unquote, a good movie series. Yeah, that's like a classic movie. For you to be doing that? Yeah, they're doing that Terrible. to me, though. Another thing they got up in there, which, you know, I don't really too much care about, but again, it's an observation. I was there observ- ob- observing. Tons of homosexual bashing and women <laughs> bashing <laughs> and fucking. I'm talking about no bullshitting around it, yeah. yo. Like old TV shows used to bash motherfucking gay people, bro. In Police Academy, there's a scene where. Uh, the nigga Mahoney was kissing a girl, but she had a head wrap or something that looked like a dude. Mm-hmm. And the literal l- lieutenant came around the corner and was like, hey, guys, don't be doing that. And then turned around and he was a girl. He's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> hey, that's funny, though. <laughs> that's funny, though. Fuck, I said, hey, you guys, stop, stop doing that. that. Shit, man. Fuck y'all do it over there. Oh, that's a woman. Uh, proceed. Um, but if it was a goddamn man. <laughs> I'd have a problem. So the point of what I'm saying here is... Police are gay. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> Hey, I don't know what this is, and I don't know where it's going to end up, but you're going to laugh when you get it, boy. I'm saying that. Get shot by I <laughs> this is nigga out of hand. But my point is, so far on my watching old shit to see how they evaged, it's going bad, man. That's why you got to watch Alf, bro. That shit probably still popping. Hey, Man, my life is just a weird fucking swirl of shit, yo. Okay, I don't know if that's good or bad. You, because you just said, Alf, I was fixing... Remember I just told you I got this HDMI... Uh, you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need an HDMI switch. I got an HDMI... Duplicator, sounds some like. Some shit like that. When yeah. you plug it in and now... Uh, I thought I was It's like have, a, an extension or extender is what you got. Oh, HDMI, so I'm supposed yeah. to have my like Xbox... Series X. Plugged in I got with my one TV and all money. those things. <laughs> <laughs> and all those things uh-huh. and I have too much things for the amount of uh, HDMI's uh, in that fucking gotta thing gotta get a new TV baby <laughs> what are you doing to me man cause this is what I wanna tell nah, myself I'm gonna get a new TV I'm not stop I am getting 80 so five. I got the converter it turns out I got the one that uh, show the same picture on right all you need my... a splitter that's what you need a you need an HDMI splitter there we go switch a, no I'm... I need a switch I got a splitter oh yes you're I right the switch. splitter there does you that go. you need a switch that's the I'm word totally I got a splitter sorry. I need a switch yeah. so uh my point, how I got there to your alpha is while trying to hook up my cable and all that, my TV went on, and on the TV has this shit called like TV Plus or something. Yeah, you got Samsung. Yes. Yeah. TV Plus. So that came on, and Alf came on, mm. and I said to myself, "Holy shit, that's Alf!" I said, "I wonder if this is good," but I needed to get my situation fixed, nah, it so I didn't watch it. And when I went back on, I didn't even know what channel on TV, but <laughs> I didn't know where the fuck it was, yo. Was Alf? What show was that show where that girl had like her dad in the globe? And a crystal ball. It was like a show where a girl used to talk to her dad in like a crystal ball. Wait, wait, let me look Google it, it, bro. Show where a girl talked to dad in crystal ball. Show where a girl talked to dad in, in crystal ball. Crystal. Google ain't finished that shit. Maybe I'm lying. Is that a show? Show where a girl talked to dad and cry. No, bro. Crystal <laughs> ball, bro. I stopped to see that if they can cry. Dad, you asshole. Out of this world. Out of this world is what it was called. Yo, ever. I gotta watch Out of This World. Look at you, the shit he watched. I was like seven, man. They get, Cut me man, a that's fucking break. Offensive. When Out of This World came out? It came out in 1987. Damn. And ended in 1991 as a fantasy sitcom about a teenage girl who is half alien, which gives her unique superhuman powers. I love superpower, my nigga. I've never From heard day of this uno. shit. I ain't talking about all that Marvel. I like like little gangster superpowers. Look at this powers, fat like. nigga. Who the fuck is this? I've never seen any of those actors. Oh, I remember she used to touch her little fingers together like this and freeze time. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Bro, I forgot about that. It was like when Zach hey. used to do a timeout. It was like that. She'd do her fingers like this together, bruh. 
like that right there, and then they just free the whole bitch, bro. And she's just able to walk. And she's just moving and grooving, bro. Out of this world. Hey, she used to take glasses off people. We gonna do a reboot of Out of This World. I'm gonna write it. Fine, y'all Google who made Out of This World, man. I'm bringing Out of This World back. Thank you. Fresh Prince could come back and do a reunion <laughs> two on Vibs and shit. They got light versus dark. No, we bringing out of this world. Come on, we getting out of this world. Out of, yeah. uh, now that you said that as well, we bring me to my other topic. The undoing. Oh, this shit I wish fire. a motherfucker undo that motherfucker. Uh, I'd just like to say... He told me to watch this two or three days ago. <laughs> no, last night. Um, it all happens. In, was it, it was a swift The motion. day before yesterday, he told me to watch this. He also had me watch a movie called Unhinged recently. Uh, after he talks about this, I'm going to talk about the movie Unhinged. <laughs> Go right ahead, please. Go right ahead. <laughs> right? Yesterday, last night, Sunday night, is when I told him about Undoing because it was the season finale coming up, which I hope is a series finale because I hope they're done with this fucking shit. But that was coming up. So I said, hey, man, because up until that point, it was very entertaining, man. The acting in there was very well done, man. That uh, Nicole Kidman's in it. Okay. Hugh Grant is in it. I don't know who it. that is. But okay. You I don't know, know who Nicole, that is. Man, fucking A. Nah. Yeah. I, I would know if I seen him, man. I just do not know celebrities, bro. I feel you. Uh, Hugh Grant. You know Hugh Grant, the nigga with the, the British nigga. Did he play Wolverine? <laughs> no, actually, that's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Bro, good at this game, you. bro. Hey, I, <laughs> hey, I've always said to myself, right? Well, not always said, but I've said this to myself during the course of our unionship that we have, mm -hmm. you know, a partnership, our brothership. I consider it. I would friendship. never take you on a fucking uh, game, game show. Kobe I was Bryant. like, nigga, you are unreliable. That motherfucker ain't about Kobe Bryant or football. Exactly. <laughs> a sports game show. You, uh, I come on, you, you the lead. It's like recent baseball questions, but some old shit. Boy, this that boy called. nigga, boy. Anyway, bro. Oh. Uh, Undoing. Unhinged. What pissed me... Uh, <laughs> no, that's your bullshit, which I don't agree with, but I'm going to give ahead, you the floor. Go ahead. Uh, undoing, right? The acting in it, man, was very well done. I'm talking a master class of acting with those actors, because those actors that I name are very seasoned actors. And there's more. I don't remember that nigga... Well, you ain't going to know his name. Nah, I said, I'm going to know this dude. I'm, I just believe <laughs> I don't even know his oh, name. Good. I think it's something Sutherland is his name. Keyford Keith Sutherland? No, Just not him. 24? <laughs> I stopped doing it. God damn it. I knew Jack Bauer. <laughs> Stop playing with me. I'm sorry. I Stop apologize. Wrong, uh, <laughs> wrong person, but wrong you do nigga. know somebody. <laughs> that nigga, look at that shit. The one time I don't have the nigga name, this nigga shot him. Who, you mean him? <laughs> Listen, boy. Oh, is that really him? No, it's not him. Oh. <laughs> it's not Keith or Sutherland, but I think it might be his daddy, nigga. I don't All know. Right. But Same anyway. First day. Great acting, how they lined it up, how they did it, the suspense, how they keep doing little flashbacks and shit. You know, all of it was well done, man. It was good and it was a beautiful ride and you took this ride and then they had a season finale, which I, I don't know if it says season or series. I'm hoping series, but I'm saying season. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see it, right? I, I was like, oh shit, the season finale tonight is six episodes. I was like... Man, let me tell my nigga hype. Because now, at this point, I feel I'm confident. Invested. Yes! Right, of course. And I, it's done enough to make me say, I'm confident right. in saying, hey, you might get something out of this here, right here, right quick. Right. Right? We riding, watching the shit, right? I'm watching it. And I'm telling you, hype, knowing it's the season finale, mm -hmm. knowing all that you know going on, mm -hmm. from the beginning, it's taking you on a ride, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And so, I'm telling my lady, we in the bed laying down, chilling. You know, all of a sudden we like moving and we leaning up a little bit. Like the suspense is coming. Like, yo, what the? Who the fuck did it? Literally, it, it's one of those who did it okay. type of shit. Okay. And they literally give you. They call it a who done it. Actually, but go on. <laughs> 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 who started that one? Huh? I don't know. This is like one word and shit. It's a who done it. I don't know. White people uh, had to do it. Shout out to white. Shout people. out to white people. Yeah. Um. Right. Good. Feeling everything's good. Literally, it got to the end of it. Mm -hmm. When I'm talking, lackluster. Can you smell it? <laughs> like, use that when you say lackluster. <laughs> lackluster. Just tell I was me. like, man, what the fuck is this? I started just being an idiot. I, mm -hmm. I go, man, this person should have just slammed this kid's head in the wall or something. If you're going to make one of the characters... Almost all of a sudden become a savage. Super oh, savage. I, mean. I hate that. 
So I, it was like no build up in person, just turn bad. No, not that. It, I can't tell you without telling you oh, because I'm never gonna watch. You never. This. Well, she maybe it's someone fresh. else will. So hey, hey don't do I, it. Exactly, because I don't like to be that guy. Mm-mm. You know, especially with this, but but I also want to not have motherfuckers watch it and, and be hurt. Fuck it, I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah, because nigga, I went on Twitter to say how much I hated it, and there other was people were saying already it. hated. That's me. what I like about Twitter. Mm. Sometimes I go to Twitter just to see what people are saying about someone. Mm. I'll say nothing. I'll just like some tweets and keep it moving. <laughs> but when Sarah Fuller kicked that football for uh, Vanderbilt, I mm. thought it was Purdue. It's Vanderbilt. I had to see what people were saying about that on Twitter. When Nate Robinson got knocked out, <laughs> I had to see what people were saying about that yeah, on Twitter. Certain thing you got to go see. Yeah. And I love to see if people are watching a show that I discover early. Because mm. I still feel like we discovered McGraw Ave early. I know. I wonder, hey, if you watch McGraw Ave because of the raw hype, hit us up real we quick. We talked about McGraw day. Ave on the raw hype? I think we did on something. I feel yeah. like we didn't, man. I think we did, man, because we were talking about Shaq. We were talking about how that movie wouldn't... Nobody would know about that show. I feel like that was in I real life. I think it was life. in real life. <laughs> this nigga said real life. Whoopsie! Yeah, this nigga be lying, man. Shout out to Murder. Shout out to Mick so, F. in closing on this topic, before you get to the lying <laughs> and, and the misrepresenting of what you saw... I can't wait, saw, boy. I can't wait. And the misrepresenting of what you watched... <laughs> this nigga like a... I would like to badger say... Badger the witness. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they was doing that in the shit. And even that pissed me off. I said this to my last night. I said... Like, I wonder how how often in a trial when you know opposing counsel says objection and the judge goes overruled is him wanting to just hear the shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some of it is like, man, this ain't fair to my case that oh. you letting it go. But oh. some of it be sweet, and you're like, oh shit, where, where did it go? Objection, not yeah. now, bitch. Uh, overruled. But by the same token, I feel like when people say, uh, what's it called when they throw something out of court, like when uh. they. Oh, you disregard. They'll be like, hey, your jury, <laughs> disregard that. It's like, bitch, I'm going to unhear what I just said. Like somebody killed their wife and shit. I was like, they were doing terrible. Like, I fucked oh, up for two weeks straight every night. Disregard. <laughs> oh, that's unadmissible. <laughs> that wasn't in the files. Uh, uh, jurors, please disregard that last part. Uh, counselor, you're on a short leash. Then they in the jury box saying, well, why would she have sex with him every night for two weeks if they were going through rough times? Hmm. I think well, I'll take that with me in my ruling. <laughs> somebody say, you know you for that reason, that, I'm right? going to say <laughs> Then one of the jurors like, they said disregard. <laughs> 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 it's just not possible. But it's not possible. Can I talk about unhinged? Let me finish. Go Undoing. On. I don't, this is what the raw hype stands for, right? I make my jokes and I'll give my critique, but I don't want that to mask all the positives that is there in something. We was just talking about this. Man, listen, because that's important. Yes. That show, how did the acting was very well done. Right. I'm going to give credit some where credit sus- Exactly, man. The, some of the suspense and how they did it was very well done. The casting on who they choose to be these people was very well done. The only issues that became unwell done <laughs> is how they ended it and then... How they had it before. They had people talking about they didn't do the shit. They did the shit. It's like, how are you going to try to sell me the whole time on these sets of people didn't do in the shit? And you paint the narrative. And I get it. The person's clearly lying. But you being the movie is, is, is framing the lie to me. Yes. Only to give me it as the lie. I mean, what are you doing here, man? If you're going to go that route, you need to come right upside my head. Make the person like a savage and just kill three, four people. And then it's like, yo, what the fuck? I didn't know this about this nigga. No, this is the one time this person and this group of people decide to do this one thing. It's like, man, it's what are you doing, Game of Thrones like, you know? In how they just aspect. how they just randomly made Brendan the king or whatever it was. Game of no Thrones, reason. I feel like just threw in the towel. Me too. These niggas have six episodes, nigga. Unless yeah. you Nate Robinson, nigga, there's more. You fresh in the game. You shouldn't be I knocked mean, out. Already. Shout out Nate Robinson, man. <laughs> I have seen sports shows holding their stomach and laughing at Nate Robinson getting his ass knocked the fuck out. And you know what? Just as I agree with people laughing at Nate Robinson, because it is hilarious, and Nate Robinson did sign up for this. Let's uh-huh. not get around it. But I seen NBA players and celebrities and other people Jake saying- Jake Paul and just run up to that nigga in the mall like, <laughs> is that that nigga that be talking? Hey, yo, what up, Nate? Is that that nigga be White hoping? boy here. I got time today. I got time today. <laughs> and he, just, he ain't sneak uh, Nate Robinson in. All right, All right so Nate sorry, Robinson no. did sign up for this ass whooping. So when I see people <laughs> making fun of him, I do That's laugh. how people make fun of him. When you say he did sign up for this ass whooping, you- I, 
You use ass whooping. He lost the fight. He lost the sanctioned fight and got paid. It's not an ass I, whooping. I read on the internet that Nate Robinson got paid $600. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, no, I'm sorry. This nigga, I don't know if you're going to retell this joke or you're going to not, but I'm going to tell it for you. This nigga hype said the funniest shit to me. <laughs> this nigga said, hey, I wouldn't drive to your house and get my ass whipped for $600, <laughs> much less in front of the world. I could not do it, bro. I, I, got, I got his sister name, his girl like, name. I said, oh, no. So I, I can't rather. have bigs yeah. and your fucking lady <laughs> watch me get my ass whipped for $600. I told her, I said, I can't have your sister watching me get my ass kicked for 600 I need at least a thousand. Hell, I eat Thanksgiving with I these know. people sometimes. <laughs> uh, can you pass the uh, the mashed uh, potatoes? Yeah, your face got, got mashed, yes. <laughs> hey, I lost it. I had it right here and I lost it. Thank you. I'm done fucking Nigga, with your you. face got mashed. Can you pass the thing on the table that best resembles what happened to your face, please? Pass. What you mean? More like foot in your ass. <laughs> no, but all right. Listen, let me talk about unhinged. All right. I wasn't finished. Uh, <laughs> the undoing. If you're gonna watch it, watch it. I'm not gonna tell you not to watch it, but what I will tell you is, if you care about plot holes and and what is done with your suspense, you're not gonna be validated at the end of watching the six part series. But hey, if you have an afternoon, it's six of them, and it's like what, uh, almost an hour, so it's like 45 minutes, you can get that done in an afternoon. You Sounds can knock terrible. it out. Go ahead, but just know, as far I, as- I told you. Rebel from the Raw Hypes, uh, uh, what's it called? You know, like Siskel and Ebert. Oh, um, uh, a review. Review, I give it, uh, no turn up skis. <laughs> because I can't just give you turn up skis off your, 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 your fucking acting and your actors. Because yeah. I then blame them at the end. Like, bitch, you were too good of a fucking actor made me think this, this stupid, Exactly, this stupid shit. I, I ain't been, even seen it and I get that shit. I, <laughs> two thumbs down. <laughs> hey, if you're not like 75 years old, you don't even get that joke. No. But. One of our YouTube videos that I edited. Oh, it does it have, have that in, that there. in there. Yes. So If you're a real raw hyper, yeah, you'll know true. the zig zag. Oh, yeah. Can I talk about Unhinged now? Go ahead, man. Thank you. This nigga keep trying to interrupt me for talking about Unhinged. <laughs> it's like when a kid got their report card and shit, and they <laughs> want to talk about how their parents day with. Mom, you look beautiful today. <laughs> oh, yeah, boy, give me that damn report card. I, I know what it is. Dinner smells good. <laughs> Uh, can I go cut the grass for you? You don't have to pay me. You can pay me another time when I'm 16 or something, but can I go cut the grass? You look like you had a long day. You need a foot massage, mom? <laughs> Nigga, I need that report card. All right, so unhinged, all right? One day I'm talking about I'm doing mind to my own business, right? I don't want this to sound like how it's going to sound, but can I just say one more thing? I just want to say he one more thing. stop, man, because you know, man. The undoing, right? Immediately <laughs> after that happened, I contacted him and I said, hey, please don't watch this terrible piece of shit. I do give him credit for that. Thank you. I didn't because even let it go. He didn't want to happen what's finna happen right now. Okay? <laughs> go ahead. All right. I'm at home minding my own motherfucking minding business, my bro. Own and this young man hit me about the blue. I want to say he sent me the movie. I did. Sent me the whole feature film, right? Legally, of course. Right, right. He, yeah, I'm not sure how. But um, <laughs> <laughs> how you send a legal movie? It ain't uh, I, uh, I move in it. Uh, you to iTunes. But you gave me your password. Hey, finish the story. That's, That's illegal it. as well. But all right. <laughs> so this man said, hey, bro, watch this movie. Check it out. Right? Mm. So I said, all right, cool. So... I, um, it was difficult to even get the movie to play. I had to, um, I had to mirror my TV, go out of my way. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, but this nigga know how I act a fool if you send me some dumb ass shit because I don't be really watching shit anyway, right? So I watched the movie. This nigga Picasso with that paint. Boy. And the first scene of the movie is this right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right. It's objection, a- Your Honor. <laughs> Sustained. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. But it's damaging to my case. <laughs> All right. So the first thing in the movie is this right here, right? Uh-huh. It's a white lady. I refer to as the Karen type. Mm. She driving down the street with a white son. Okay. Mm-hmm. Her and son driving to school. Mm-hmm. Uh, a dude at like a red light. And then when the light turned green, the dude don't go. And then the lady like honk her horn, right? Like 
Go, motherfucker. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So as they go by, I want to say maybe she like looked at him crazy or maybe flipped him out for something. It was something, you know, like you motherfucker be acting a fool on the road. Hey, isn't plot points in, uh, necessary okay. when you're shitting okay. on the plot okay. of okay. the movie. I love when you do this. All right, then what happened? No, nigga. <laughs> okay, you have to talk. Okay. <laughs> hey, okay. How you gonna be in the courthouse like, okay. hey, hey, hold on yeah. one second, Your Honor. Okay. Hey, uh, prosecutor, okay. can you tell me what hey, my... <laughs> if the prosecutor gonna interrupt me and tell me, hey, you gotta tell the story this way, you gotta tell the story... This movie's so bad that he don't even remember what the fuck happened. I don't. Exactly. <laughs> I don't at all. When exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen to me. So whatever happened between them two, they get to the next light, and then the dude look over at her and like basically like, hey, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> Don't be honking your horn at me. Like you, you honked your horn in a way that I found to be rather rude, mm-hmm. right? Like you could have let me know that the light was green, but you honked it like a bitch, right? <laughs> So then from there, he talking to her son or whatever, just asking her basic ass questions. Like, oh, what's going on with your little tyke? You know what I'm saying? Just hollering at him or whatever, right? So then she's like, hey, leave my son the fuck alone, asshole. Right? So that was the road rage incident, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, man, let's get this movie started. I don't even know why the fuck this dumb ass scene even started with this dumb ass shit, but whatever. Whatever. So then the movie gets started. And then I later find out that that scene is the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy that she was in the road rage argument with spends the rest of the movie trying to track her down and murder her. So this nigga have a brief road rage incident, and then I had to watch 90 minutes of him trying to kill this lady and her son, which we clearly know is not gonna happen. <laughs> so then I waste 90 minutes while like there's like stupid shit that happened in the movie right where like the lady in her car right she stop and get some gas she, doing this, she get back in I the car exactly what and then say. she drive away right and then she see him on the interstate <laughs> like oh my god this asshole's chasing me again she like reaching for her phone he pick up her phone and wave the phone at her like look who's got your phone and I'm like it don't make no sense that he got her phone <laughs> this nigga haven't been around she didn't leave it nowhere <laughs> she just had it What's happening? All right, pick like she ain't got no lock on the motherfucker. He making call. He going through the dress book and shit. I'm like, all right, man. Like it's just ridiculous. And the whole movie is just. I was watching this movie with my little shorter that I kick with. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) I was watching my movie right, and she turned around away from the television, right, and then she texts me right now, and I told her, I said, hey, I'm I'm talking about this movie on hands, right. She said, oh, my God, that is the worst movie that I ever seen. I tried to forget about it. I'm getting angry just thinking about it. <laughs> That's how bad hey. this, this movie make people ba- mad. This, po- this movie, <laughs> this no bullshit. It wasn't the worst movie I ever seen. But in the moment, we were just talking about in the moment. Mm-hmm. In the moment, I was like, yo, I feel like this is the worst movie I ever seen, bro. And- I want to stand real clear here. <laughs> I don't advocate for this movie. At no point did I say this was a good movie. But what I do like to say with my recommendations is, if you're going to watch a terrible movie like that, <laughs> I found the good parts of the movie, which is, okay, well, clearly this is a ridiculous movie. And then I just leaned into the ridiculousness. So like you that, saw how that, that's a prerequisite. You got to tell a nigga he got to do that. Like I, if I send you Fast and the Furious, I got to say, hey, Fast and Furious, <laughs> this now. <laughs> hey, Hobbs is short. Hobbs is short, my nigga. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I need you to have three hours with nothing to do. And when I say nothing, I mean literally. Hey, if you see a doom buggy with a chain on it that's ho- holding a, a helicopter upside down, don't call me. <laughs> do nigga. Not call this that's part. Fast and Furious. In this. <laughs> okay. that and you know that because I warned you. <laughs> I feel like I'm not remembering heavily, but I feel like when I sent it, I said, hey, this movie, this guy is ridiculous. No, nah, you just sent it on some like, check it out. No! I swear to God, I can pull it up right I now. I might have to. Yeah, I can pull it up uh, right now. Your Honor, can we have a, pre- a brief <laughs> recess? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a recess, but God damn it, I'm not playing. But, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the ridiculousness of no. the movie. It made me mad at you, bro. That's damn. how bad that movie was. I was like, man, my own nigga do me like this? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't say shit. No. I just said the movie. And I also said 45 minutes in and ooh wee. <laughs> that nigga said, oh yeah? I said, yeah, man. And he was like, you done with it? I said, yeah, and how you expect, but a good ride. Exactly, it's a good ride. If Hey, if you watched, have watched or is going to watch Unhinged starring Russell Crowe, not to be confused with uh, Russell Peters. Russell Brand. <laughs> Russell Brand. <laughs> I like Russell Brand. He's funny. You think Russell Brand is funny? Yes, he is. Let me interrupt you, you before Brand? you say if you... <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, he did. That's how she'll do. But um, ahead, you before you say, if you decide to watch your Unhinged, and then whatever you was gonna say, okay, go ahead. please do not never, ever, <laughs> ever, ever watch Unhinged. Uh, what, what, what's the review you, do you give Unhinged? I give Unhinged arguably the worst movie of all time. <laughs> how much turn up skis you give it, bro? That motherfucker the opposite, bro. <laughs> like, I give that motherfucker two negative. Years. Two turn down skits, bro. <laughs> Unhinged, no bullshit. There it, you it, go. I it, like that. Thank turn, you. Turn down skits, bro. Give it turn down skis and then turn up skis. We, well, we do our Cisco and even movie reviewers right in Let's yeah. just ri- let's just rip off a bunch of movie reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Post up, rip. But that's what we need to do one day, bro. We should yeah, rip off a bunch of movie reviews. Raw hype style. Raw hype movie reviews. Hey, yeah. We give it turn like, up skis. Oh, we should do like our top five or top ten. Like favorite movies or maybe movies you never heard of See, but that we seen. I feel your idea, but now I need to go back and remember if I really like those movies mm. enough to top five them because true. shit don't hold weight that can That's hold true. today. Unhinged is a new version of a movie called Falling Down. Oh, like a new movie of Jason Voorhees. <laughs> He just people around no, also, for no reason. Russell Crowe is a gladiator. He is a fat, super overweight white man. So, like, acting-wise, oh, he went o- above for the role. Racist. So, Why well, you got to pick a white person to do that just because that's what white people would do? Exactly. It was really racist, too, when you think about it. Yeah, and the woman is person. damsel in distress with the little son. But she was like a dick. That actually yeah, helped me son. not like it. It helps you see... I'm I, like, I hope he murders her. The lesson that I saw there was you never know what people are going through. Ooh. So you don't need to get a bullet exa- put in your head. <laughs> for no reason. Fool like, I hate <laughs> road rage, bro. I hate road rage. I think, and I hate to say this because I know people have road rage. I think some of the dumbest shit you can do is have road rage. It is the dumbest <laughs> shit you can do. And it's because, man... <clears throat> What is it? I have nothing to gain from this. You, hey, my lady has road rage. Women have road rage, but I, you know why? Because the women who have road rage can't drive. Oh, that doesn't surprise. So they're angry at other people for doing anything that may make them scared. Yeah. Because I see my lady riding down the street. I see the uh the little caution cones and shit be on the side so you know road work she is do being not done. Hit them, bro. No. The fuck, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she just hits every, every cone every on the way down. <laughs> I, got, I hop in the car and like, well, how much you going for today? Your last score was 50. I watched her hit every cone, and then this day she was in my car. I called her. I said, bring my car home. <laughs> but Get no, in your shit. <laughs> whenever that happens, you know, usually around that same time, the same area, the roads be a little uneven. So you go, you feel that, and you hear that. It's common with any road work being done across the world, right. right? And she'll always be like, move over, asshole. I was like, why is he an asshole? Because you are scared now that the car is rumbling because of the road and you want to get out of this lane and somebody on the same road with you just happens to be next to you and <laughs> not knowing you bro, freaking out. If you said that to her, you would 100% be wasting your breath, bro. Oh, hype. Listen, man. Uh, hey, there we go. We'll get back to movies in one second after this short commercial break. So, Holla at these hoes. <laughs> so, the last week, right? You, mm-hmm. you, we, the town center. You know where the town center, and anyone who lives here know where the town center is. I've known my lady for ten years, been with her, and loved her for most of those. And <laughs> loved her for seven. Out of years. <laughs> <laughs> I got about a seven on possible. Uh, she, we went to this. The you're town still center. up for grabs. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs> hey, my lady knows these all jokes, and I love them. Right. We've went to the town center probably more than any other place in our entire knowings of each other. Okay. Every time we happen to call, she asks me how to get to the town center. 
Hey, I have a terrible sense of direction, so I don't have a problem with that. She has on the GPS with turn by turn signaling, oh, of course. and she yes. still asks me. Well, I yeah, say, I, I say, that. you want me to tell you, or you want her to tell you? <laughs> What's the, the point? The fucking of you thing was say, uh, right coming up on St. John's Town Center. Am I gonna make this right? My and God. I would just be quiet in the car. And then she gets angry with me. She's like, what? I'm just asking. You can just help. I was like, you want me to tell you or her? Because she literally just tell you the turn coming up. And these phones make it to where you know exactly the turn you're making. Rebel, we have a saying. Mm. We say it all the time. You do. How to go? When you're dealing with your <laughs> homeboys or your friends or your coworkers or whoever. Mm. You wouldn't deal with what their girl, with the, what they deal with with their girl, and they wouldn't deal with what you deal with from your girl. Uh, <clears throat> I could not deal with that. Hi, man. And, and it's because I have such a terrible sense of direction, so I count on my phone so much to tell me where I'm going that I know that it's idiot proof in a sense. All right, man. <laughs> and now the motherfucker is, is, is customized to what tone of voice you want to uh, hear. If you yeah. want to hear an Australian man tell you to get right on the St. John's Town Center, you can do it. Turn right, mate. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Uh, I don't remember what... No, it's okay. But I don't remember what phone it was. I think it's Waze. Waze allows you to enter your own voice into the turn signals. What? So I entered my voice saying, Hey, turn this right, your mother's scum. <laughs> like, she doesn't use Waze. Uh, oh, for real? I just remember that because I said, hey, This would be dope. Since right. she wants me to tell her where the fuck to go, oh, I can yeah, be the right. voice in Waze. I thought they have Mother scunt. I said shit like that in there. Hey, stop your hey, mother's scunt. Waze be ahead of the curve when it comes to that motherfucking GPS. Is that a pun? Waze, directions, head of the curve? I'd say curve, but curve, curve. I'll take it. Uh, is that a is that a musical uh, double entendre? Curve, curb. Ooh, ways. I just hey, I got so oh. many different ways on my head of the curb. <laughs> <laughs> it say go straight, but I'm gonna swerve. You heard? See, I'm. All right, you listen. get it? Ways, curb. Ways was the first one that made it where you can snitch on the cops. Yeah, you say cop up. I have always loved that. I snitch <laughs> on the cops, bro. Hey, they've evolved. They also have you tell them, hey. What's the gas prices where you're at? Yep. That's yep. pretty cool. But yeah, when I see a cop, bro, and I'm using GPS <laughs> all the time because I don't know where the fuck I'm going any other time. So when I see them, I report they motherfucking <laughs> ass, bro. <laughs> and then right sometimes I'll be driving I'll be driving as fast as I want because I know they ain't around. Ooh. Yeah, I try not to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's almost like if you had a Tesla that drove itself, you would try not to sleep in the back seat, but, <laughs> but how yeah. could you resist? <laughs> I was gonna say you might not want to do that because I just complained about this the other day when I saw a fucking uh, station wagon pull over a motherfucker. I go, man, this is not supposed to happen where a cop can be in his fucking family car and he pull over somebody doing something on the road, nigga. It was a car in a station wagon pulled over behind somebody else and the guy's in his clothes with his cop belt, nigga. How you undercover nah, in a station bro. wagon pulling niggas over, nigga? If nah, I see a station bro. wagon, I know it's mo it's almost the most freest time to speed. Because there's 420 <laughs> horses, bro. The station wagon gonna have to catch me, bro. And, and all that going through my mind, that station wagon ain't gonna catch anything I'm in. Nah, he now, gonna have to catch me. Come on, bitch, man. Bro. But this is what these fucking coppers do. Like he had to hit his lights when he right behind me. <laughs> like if I see him like pull out <laughs> That nigga have to hit, hit the back of my whip and maybe spin out. I didn't did do it before. I didn't see one of them pull out and I was gone by the time he came. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm dead ass. Nigga like little like, TK, oh, out. this going to be a race. No bullshit, bro. I just seen one of them, like, I just seen motherfucker hit a U-turn before. Mm. I was like, by the time you get here, I'm going to be the exit and whatever yeah, exit yeah. is coming up. And I'm going to be parked by the time you get right there. Call the <laughs> I'm going to be parked by the library, no nigga. Bullshit. I go get a full, I go get gas on a full tank. <laughs> Fill her up, fill her up. Uh, it's not accepted anymore. Go oh well, <laughs> then I just chill. <laughs> I get a gay date, but uh, yeah, yeah. You know, there was a point in time where a nigga wasn't the cleanest out here, so I used to pull over and get rid of them every time I seen one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm from a place where the cops pull you over. I had to get used to it out here in Florida. <laughs> in Florida, they don't do you like they do in Texas, boy. Mm, in Texas, the police pull your ass over, bro. Like mm. no bullshit. No bullshit. What you was doing? I don't know, nigga riding. No, the police pulled you me too clean all the time. Riding. Why, uh, why I moved from Texas? Hmm. I'm dead ass. Them what kind of shit is that? Over, bro. I'm like, I can't deal with y'all. Nigga, average no three pullovers a week. Bro. 
Nah, no nigga, bullshit. how much time they pull you over this week? Nigga, damn, nigga, four times four. Nah, I done had twenty five hundred dollars in tickets and shit before. Holy fuck! When I was a young boy, well, holy yeah. damn! Hey, you got a lighter, big dog? Uh, no, you all your lighters is over there on the table. Hey, since this wasn't like a planned podcast, man, is this like are enough? We, <laughs> are we done out here? Are we, did we reach our limit? Right? Do you have like anything else you'd like to share with these wonderful people? Man, dog, this on. What we learned here today that we might be able to do a little bit of uh, movie reviews. Hey, man, if we did it like how we do it, don't nobody do it like how we do. it I don't it. think anybody do it like how we do. Nah. Speaking of, go watch our review of the Dave Chappelle Sticks and Stones. I meant to say that when we talked about Dave Chappelle Sticks and Stones last. Oh episode. man, I wish we could have review some shit what I said up how it is now. We need hey. We need to do that. You we know what we need to do? Mm-hmm. Kevin Hart. One, because I watched like five minutes. I know you didn't finish it, and two, I finished it. But I also feel like when we talk about it, it will be more entertaining. Kevin Hart, we should do that. I wish we would have did that today, man. I know. Oh, hey, same Instead this. of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's it. I like it. Yeah, I like it, man. Let's yeah. do Kevin Hart, man. The raw hype reviews on Kevin Hart next time y'all see the raw hype reviews. Oh, who? Man? That's gonna be the next thing we do when we sit down. Absolutely, Kevin Hart. You got anything else? Because I mean, he's beautiful. We're ahead of the podcast game right there because this a this a free podcast. This a freebie. We got. This is this, no, but technically this is the first episode of uh, movie reviews. Nigga, this is not. <laughs> nigga, we spoke about movies the whole time. Nah, bro, we gotta do better than that. <laughs> but no, the other one's gonna be a little more put together, a little oh, more in order. Unhinged movie review, but I oh, don't know, man. You gonna be to see the video? It might, it might be able to just chop it up and move. I'm about reviews. to say, I'm gonna chop it up. I don't know, man. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, one more you want to slide in there? What you got, man? I ain't seen no Cue a beat for me. Cue a old eighties beat. Ooh, I'm gonna do a uh, movie theme type beat, bro. Movie <laughs> type beat. That's that's what I said. Type pop. Oh, uh, oh, my ultimate point before you play that. My okay. ultimate point with this and why this was on my mind and I didn't even understand how we managed to do a whole episode about it for the most part. But chill. These shows and these company. Big up my boy Andre. Got, uh, I think it was Andre that said it, but I know I say it all the time. Chill. But, <laughs> these fucking people, they don't know how to close. They care so much about the ride and and, and dragging you along and keeping you up along the oh ride that Lord. they don't yes. focus on where you're I'd going. Rather you make a movie instead of a show if you don't know how to close this motherfucker. Thank man. you. But it out. They do that shit don't with drag movies. Me. Oh, of course. Movies the king of it. Yes. Shit unhinged. They That's got true. there too far, too quick. They need to... Hey, this is another thing y'all can steal, motherfuckers. They, more movies need to be miniseries. They need to be three episode long movies of an hour and 15, hour and 30. Flush out your fucking story. The ones that can do it. Not all of them. Certain these fuckers, extend your story so you can tell it full so we ain't nothing to complain about. Clearly, I feel like if they had more than six episodes, they could have right. did better in this. But right. having to cram this shit, they run into, oh, you cram it so it's very suspenseful, but you cheat the story. That is true. And that's the problem with everything I've been watching. That's why I've been watching old shit to see if they did a better job at ending it. Yeah, because I feel like we always think old oh, shit was better, but that's just because we ain't never seen shit before. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But now that you didn't see shit, you look at shit with a different view, so it makes shit not as dope. Exactly. It's like how we say when it comes to rappers with bars. It's like, I didn't heard every word, There's right? nothing you can say now that make me say nah. you the greatest nigga nah. ever. Nah, I'd rather you be funny or some shit exactly. now. Exactly. Which is why when you see me rapping the raw hype, I'm not trying to show y'all how talented I am. I'm showing y'all how... Funny, I can try to be while get conveying oh, a message. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it wasn't funny, I wouldn't want to rap on here. And that's the point. Yeah. The only reason we've started rapping and continue is because we turned it into being funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. As opposed oh, to I being... I think, yeah, the first times we rapped on here, I think we were spitting. That's my point. Yeah. And then yeah. I was like, hey, no, we're not going to try to do this every episode. Nah, it's too hard. It's too hard. It's way Man, easy. it's hard to do what we do. It's very hard to do what we do. But because people don't understand when they see their favorite rappers write and rap live that they've been rehearsing this verse for mm-hmm. weeks. And we just are this motherfucker making shit, up shit. I even heard that certain ciphers, them niggas like mess up in the cipher and they yeah, would stop and like record Funk Flex that and shit. I heard Flex say that most of the niggas come up there don't want to take that shit. Good Lord. See what I'm saying, man? Them I, niggas up there shooting a video. I come from, Exactly. Okay, we got to take one. Uh, camera yep. two over there. You ready? You know okay. That. They're I'll not start just from that niggas finna get shot a lot. Yeah. Right there. And three, two, one. You remember that video I sent you where I said that white boy was rapping and I said this ain't no freestyle but he rapped for like 15 minutes? 
Yes. That white boy rapped for 15 minutes and his motherfucking face was turning red. He rapped live <laughs> for 15 yes. minutes. Whether he was making it up off the dome mm-hmm. or not, there wasn't no p- copy and paste and no video. He was on that motherfucker mm-hmm. just rapping for 15 minutes. <laughs> and I bet that, that was an old video too. Oh yeah. It was that's like what, eight or nine years old. And that's where I come from when it comes to this rapping yeah. shit, man. If I, I got to be able to do yeah. it one time live. I mess up all the time on the wrong Hey, I'm exactly. not going to say, hey, don't play that one because I mess up. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I be mumbling to trip over the word. It's oh, like, hey sure. man, come on, man. I gotta get out of here though, man. Shout out to y'all. Popcorn man. town, Pop baby. That popcorn, baby. Hey, bro, that's what we gonna call it. Popcorn town. <laughs> <laughs> the raw hype for this popcorn. With Master Funk in this bitch. With Master Funk, baby. With Master Funk, nigga. Let's go. Okay. I know. Chill. Yeah. Ooh. Pop. Just Pop. 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 Popcorn town, yang. Pop. 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 Hey. Get a shit by three turn down skis. I did not like it. Get a shit three turn down skis. You might not like it. Get a shit three turn down skis. I ain't no psychic, but I said that shit to hype and he ain't like it. Hey, yeah. It's popcorn time. Gotta kick a popcorn rhyme. Pop. Every time I watch a movie, I get that shit a eight or nine. Pop. Now I'm lying. I get that shit one, two, three turn down skis. Pop. I don't give a fuck about that movie. I could do without it. Nigga, fuck Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> Real niggas right here now. Nigga, popcorn time. Real niggas done touch down. We ain't fucking with no thumbs up or no thumbs down. Nigga, fuck out. It's turn up ski. Round this turn side of town. Down. Nigga, you know what the fuck it is. Y'all know we into the movie biz. Nigga, go hand us a motherfucking game. We'll script and we gon' kill that bitch. Yeah. We gon' kill that bitch. We gon' win an Emmy. I don't give a fuck. Got a bitch named Penny. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a no dollar. I watch movies. I make them holler hey, like. Hey, ripping the ticket, then ripping the tits on the bitch. <laughs> that was a horror flick that I seen last night. That shit was the pits. <laughs> I give that motherfucker no up skis. Only give the bitch down skis. When I watch it, I don't please. I say, hey, that boy, boy, for round, bitch. Ah. I don't like that shit. <laughs> It popcorn time. Popcorn time. <laughs> hey, that beat was terrible, man. <laughs> hey, that beat was terrible. That beat was terrible, man. We made it work, though, man. But hey, Raw Hypers, we appreciate, we appreciate y'all, y'all man. man. Listen, this ain't for nothing, man. I know, we're going places. We're going places, man. And we we, y'all going to take us there, man. We need it, man. And these going to be the times they're going to say, man, I wish they went back to when they was just free like that. I know, right? Uh, Sorry, but shout out to everybody change. making uh, real shows. Shout out to my nigga Ace Vane all over the place. If y'all ain't watched that, check it out. Uh, we finna make a show, though. Uh, we was watching Issa Rae show. And she was talking about uh, Awkward Black Girl on YouTube. We said how she started off. We said we finna do that kind of shit. You feel me? We Sorry, gotta make a show. Times done change. Hey, shout look. out my nigga Ace Vane. Hey, them times didn't change. We gotta make a show. Uh-huh. Shit, if I can't beg the bitch, then I'm gonna take the hoe. Uh-huh. I've been balling since the '80s, baby. '94. '94. I got your bitch in my house. She shit mop and glow. Mop and that hoe cleaning. Shit, I don't need a reason. Mm-mm. I be balling hard like that nigga Willie Beeman. Willie in Beeman. a given Sunday when we be watching movies, yeah. I'm laid up with bitches in the bed or jacuzzi. Ooh. <laughs> Now I'm listening to Uzi <laughs> With a young chick that's trying to do me uh-huh. Have you ever seen Screwed Up by Dave Chappelle While a young, young floozy screws me <laughs> I like that life That motherfucking popcorn and nighttime life I mean, uh. give me a pack of Skittles And I tell you a riddle <laughs> Go ahead, give me a bunch of crunch i put it in your middle I had that crunchy munch mm-hmm. I had the shit for lunch yeah. I be watching movies, nigga I ain't sitting in the front Cause no. I be watching in the home In massage chair Oh, shit yeah. I heard Kevin Hart drop the movie. I don't care because I ain't watching that. <laughs> I get that two thirds down. And I see that damn movie say, get it from around me. Get it me. from around me. I'm looking for them thumbs up or them turn up. Nigga, I don't really give Ay, a fuck. Look, you remember 94. Look, you remember 94. Just like the other side, 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 just like the other side
something like Kobe. If yeah. y'all know me, can blow me. I done had to buy snow skis. I done went overseas. My nigga, my brumski. See, yeah. <laughs> Riding on the Star Wars. We watched Fast and Furious in our cars. Y'all remember when it was about driving. Uh, now I seen them niggas in space on, on the island. Let <laughs> <laughs> me out of here, man. <laughs> I 